What's up, family and friends? On this Sunday on Let's Talk, I wanted to talk about church. <clears throat> church. One excuse I hear all the time when it comes to church, the famous excuse that I hear a lot of times, man, I ain't, I ain't going to church messing with those people because they're going to judge me or I ain't trying to get judged. But let's take a, a step back for a minute. First of all, first of all, let's go to st step one, part one of this. Most people that say that are the same people that say this. I don't care what people think about me. Or I'm not tripping off them. I'm not trying to impress people. But then you say you afraid to go to church to be judged. That's crazy. The truth of the matter is you're not as tough as you think you are. <laughs> the truth of the matter is there's some sensitivity inside of you. And there's some softness inside of you. You're not as big and bad and tough as you think you are. So if somebody gives you that excuse, just know they're not as tough as they think they are. So just back up, you know what I'm saying, gently pat them on the back and say it's going to be okay. Because they're not as tough as they think they are. Uh, secondly, if you don't care what people think about you, then why would you care what people think about you when you come into church? The same people you're going to see uh, out there or on the street or at work are, are going to be at church with you. So why would you care? If, you, if we did a show of hands of everyone in the church... If everyone, we asked everybody to raise their hands if they ever been judged. Every single church, every single member in the church will raise their hand and say, I've been judged before. But what got me to come to church, even though you might get judged by somebody? Because I didn't care what they thought. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't at church for them. I was at church for God. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't, I wasn't tripping off what they thought or what they got to say. I, I, I didn't care about that. And plus, I started to realize that the people that judge were worse off than what I was. They was all jacked up. That's why they was judging. It made them feel good. But every member in the church will raise their hand and say they've been judging church before. Every single one. If we, if, if I did went to church right now, if I stood on the pulpit and to every, asked everybody to raise their hand, every single one would raise their hand. The point I'm making is that judgmental is not an excuse of why not to come to church. You get judged every time in the streets. In the, when I was in the streets, you got judged all the time. I'm talking about dog, you'll be on the street corner and you'll walk up with you. I done seen dudes walk up with their girl and then their man fire them up right in front of their girl, talk bad on them. You know what I'm saying? Might even say something about their girl. The next thing you know, they in the club together holding each other with liquor bottles. Oh, dog, this is my man, dog. I love you, dog. Drunk together. I love you, dog. So much, dog. And they clubbing together and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So judging cannot be an excuse not to come to church. Find another one. If you don't want to come to church, find another excuse. But I'm sitting here to tell you, man, stop using judgmental as, a, as an excuse not to come to church. 